Okay, Crystal, here's an even better solution on how to get these images to line up properly. And here, here I have it done right here on the screen. And let's just grab a hold of this. And as we slide over, you're going to see the size come down to less than 770. Okay, we're less than 77, 770. So we are in mobile view right now. And you can see everything is staying nice and lined up. It's not stacking on top of each other. And the images do get a little bit smaller. And eventually, you'd probably run into a problem on this, depending on the phone size. But I would definitely test it on different phones and different emulators to see what you come up with uh, for different phone sizes. But actually, let's uh, just test it right now. Let me see. I think it's this icon. Yeah, so let's go with an iPad first. Okay, that looks fine. And then an iPhone 6. All right, they're getting a little close together. You might want to make them a little bit smaller if people are still using iPhone 6s. I would guess some people are. And let's see if we go to an iPhone 5 even. Well, they're kind of... Let me get out of here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. You can make the icons a little bit smaller. And I would only do this on mobile. So I would set up your page inside of ClickFunnels uh, the way you had it with uh, your six six columns across. But then in mobile view, I would hide the six columns across and I would just come in with two or three columns across like we have right here. And the final solution I came up with on this was actually to do something that's kind of old school. We don't really do it much anymore is I built it out as a table. And what that gives us is the ability to set the width of each one of the columns. So we can set each area here, each box that this logo is sitting in, we set each one of these to 250 pixels wide. And then you put in the image and you tell the image to be aligned in the center of that box. That way, everything lines up pretty well. Now, again, we still have an issue that all of these images are all different sizes um, and different shapes and everything else. So you want, again, try to make your images as close to the same size as possible when you're doing this. And But I do have them all set to a width of 150 pixels, every single one of the images. So all you do here, you can see the way the table is laid out. It's just... Um, a series of you start with table, then you got TR, TD, and you just keep repeating that. The TR will give you a second line or a third line, however many you want to go. So the TRs are the lines, the TDs are the elements themselves, and then we just drop the image inside of it. And again, if you wanted to make that a uh, hyperlink, you could do a hyperlink around it, just like we did down here in our previous examples. So that's it. It's really simple. And actually, this is without a doubt the best solution of the probably four that I've come up with on how to do those images and keep them side by side in mobile view. So let me know if you got any questions.